Hello, I'm Rob with the B, and this is 101 Ways to Make Fire. I keep talking about 101 ways to make fire, but at the end of the day, or even first thing in the morning, there really are only two. Now, in this series, I've defined fire as flaming combustion. Flames, that's what we understand as fire. But there are two ways to get there. One is directly, one step process, ignition source, onto something combustible. It bursts into flame. The other method, which you'll actually see a lot more of, is a two-step process. Starting with smoldering combustion and then using that to generate the required heat to get flame. Now you guys have met my friend Bob before and I'm going to ask him to illustrate the difference. Take it away, Bob. Hi. I met a young lady called Linda who showed me the two types of tinder. If it flames, it's called flinder. If it smolders, it's minder. She said as she burnt to a cinder. <laughs> Thank you. What he was trying to say is that there are fundamentally two different types of tinder. One burns and one smolders. Today we're going to look at flinder. What we have here is a kapok pod, kapok. And there's one that's opened up, full of fluffy, downy material. And this stuff is really, 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 really fine. And that generally is the secret of flaming ignition tinder. Our ignition source today is going to be an empty lighter. The idea here is that one of those tiny individual sparks, which doesn't have very much energy at all, is going to be enough to simultaneously pyrolyze a tiny piece of that, one individual strand, turn it into gas and ignite that gas. The heat that's released by that will then pyrolyze additional pieces next to it and ignite them and we have an ongoing chemical reaction. We have fire. In theory. In practice, let's see how that will work. We're going to fluff this up. So I'm going to put that in my hand. And we have fire, except that we don't. And that's one of the basic problems with flaming ignition tinder. It tends to burn to nothing very quickly. Okay, so we either need to have lots of it, or we need to have a secondary tinder, or we can impregnate it with uh, a, a wicking liquid. Something that's gonna burn for a bit longer. I like to call them wickwids, mostly just because it sounds silly. In a previous video you, you saw me use earwax for this. Today I'm going to use, I don't know yet, I'm going to go and look around the house, I'll be back. Just lubricating oil, machine oil. Okay, drop or two of that. And we have fire, unga bunga our baby. I'm just using the husk of the kapok pod. But a couple of drops of oil, and it's going to keep it going for a few minutes. Um, so that's the trick. I take it back, not a few minutes. Sometimes, Agnew Bagnew. Well, we had fire. 